All right, guys. Got everything together. Got to drain the radiator fluid out of it. Antifreeze. And it has a little pet cock on it. Play L L L O L. Little pet cock. And I'm going to try. I was like, oh man, this is going to go all over the place. So I was like, I'm going to take a few minutes and straighten up the yard. Pick up some trash. Look what I found. I got clamps. I got to do is clamp it on the radiator, open it up. Whoosh. Right into that container. Pretty amazing. Warm today, 83 or 84. And uh, we give you guys a little bit of advice. You're driving in your vehicle and suddenly or over time, now you're having to add oil, uh, antifreeze, power steering fluid. Fix the problem, guys, because you're, you're going to get stuck in the worst possible situation. We started smelling antifreeze on this truck when me and Justin were ran the, ran the kids up to Myrtle Beach. And I looked at the temperature gauge and it's running cool or, or a little bit warmer than it was supposed to. And I checked the reservoir, guys, and it was empty. The, so the, to the water pump on this sits over the front seal of the, the crankshaft. So you're getting, you're constantly getting radiator fluid, aka antifreeze, on your, uh, main seal there so that's why i'm doing this guys if i didn't have the money or the time i wouldn't do it i would just keep driving it and add water that is the wrong thing to do i got that from autozone i bought it i didn't open the box and it's my policy to always open the box didn't have a gasket so the guy was looking for a gasket he had to order one and i had to go pick it up so i had to go there twice for, for one part i got pulleys i'm going to replace these pulleys too because the front end's all a little bit noisy. 304,000 and change, guys. Take care of your vehicle and it will take care of you. And yes, this truck can pull that back camper back there. You can pull it, guys, at the speed limit. Relatively easy. Even with that mileage. Make sure, guys, if you're pulling any... And it's got a 800 pounds of stuff in it. Full. It's full, guys. T-Cat. Say meow. T-Cat. Smile, bud. Kiki. Beagle boy. There he is. Oh, back out. There's the key cat. Key cat. I don't know why he's doing that. What's going on? You guys got fresh water? Great, right, better run. Better run. Get out of here. Get out of here. Take like a little tiger. Anyway, guys, it's uh, not too complicated of a job. I should be done in two and a half hours. Maybe less, maybe more. If I mess with the cats and stuff, probably more. I'm going to tighten up the clamps for power steering pumps. I've been having to add fluid to it. Six dollars a bottle. Bottle a week, basically. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, Key Cat? Don't look at me with your bad eye. That's what my friend Doc used to say in the shop. Old Doc. wonder how he's doing down in Georgia. Hopefully he's still around. He had a heart attack and then came right back to work. Stout guy. Good guy. Your memories are there for a purpose, guys. If those memories are glorifying sin in the eyes of God and in your own heart, you know when you're doing wrong. I don't care who you are. Black, white, Puerto Rican, yellow, green, purple, see-through. You know in your heart, right from wrong. Doesn't have to be taught to you. A child has to be taught. Then you come into adulthood and you base your actions on how people would do it to you. And that's how you treat people. Treat them good. Treat them like you treat yourself. If you treat yourself like S-H-I-T, learn. Go to the gym. Eat healthy food. Stop messing around with drugs. Get, all, get away from the drinking. It ain't going to get you anywhere. All this stuff. Nice property. Deck. We're going to cover that deck this, all, this fall. We've got a, several of them to do. Neighbor's way over there. He's cool. Got a boat and stuff. Brand new tires on this, guys. They got like 50 miles on them. Brand new. 
Gotta fix this truck. Gotta bring the plate back in. Look at them knots. Two wheel drive, four wheel drive. These tires are like 280 a piece. Two, 250 or something like that. We gotta do front end work on that. And I gotta today go diagnose the four tourists, me and Justin. So, anyway, guys, love you. Praise the Lord, Jesus Christ. He's the best thing you could have in this world. Everything comes second to that. You cannot have a relationship with somebody without standing on that rock that is Jesus Christ. Because every action you do without Jesus Christ is for your flesh. I don't care if you're 3, you're 30, or you're 120. If you don't do the things you do as if God has got his eye on you, then you will fail and not prevail. And in the end, you'll be screwed, guys. Literally. All this stuff you see happening, the media, this mass hypnotization, substantiation, terrible. People completely indoctrinated by the things they absorb on their phone, on their device. What's the Bible say? Did Satan reveal himself as an angel of light? Yeah, it looks good. How are you using your device? What is your search history? Let's pull up those videos and see what you're watching at night. Most of you, 98, 99% of you, you know in your heart what you're doing. Because I know in my heart, I've done it. Not anymore. Jesus Christ came into my and my brother's heart and changed our lives. Through Christ we have this stuff.